There are some obvious benefits to going gluten-free when you have celiac disease, a gluten intolerance, or for any other health reason. Your symptoms go away. But sometimes maintaining a gluten-free diet can be hard, frustrating, and just plain sad. That's why I compiled a list of the unexpected perks of going gluten-free to reframe a bad situation into a great one. So grab your rose-tinted glasses and hop on the gluten-free perk train. Chicka 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 choo choo. Perk number one. <sighs> I can't eat anything at this party. I look like I have amazing willpower. I used to be that person who would just hover by the food table all night. And honestly, when there's a lot of gluten-free options, I still do. But at those events where they didn't give food allergies a second thought, you will be that one person who says, no thanks, I'm good. When they bring in a tray of regular donuts into your workplace, everyone will stare at you with envy for your amazing willpower. No one needs to know that if they were gluten-free, you would secretly steal five of them to devour throughout the day. Perk number two. This pizza is tiny. Why is everything gluten-free so small? No, this is probably the amount of food I should be eating. Let's be real. Most gluten-free things are tiny. Bread, tiny. Pizza, tiny. Burger buns, tiny. Usually after I'm done eating though, I'm full. While gluten-free portions can be quite small, for the most part, you're eating a healthy amount. I may enviously compare my plate to others around me, but at the end of the day, it probably stops me from eating an excessive amount and then regretting it later. Or, you know, if you're not full, you could just have two servings. Two burgers are better than one. Two burgers are better than one. The one's the fun as any one. Perk number three. No gluten-free fryer? But I just want fries. Come on, you didn't even want the fries until they said fries. Being gluten-free often forces you to pick the healthier option. When asked fries or salad, you basically always have to choose the salad, which sucks when you love fries. But in the long run, your body will thank you for it. Plus, you can still have fries. It just means that when you really want them, you have to plan to go somewhere with a gluten-free deep fryer. And when you can have surprise fries, it's Christmas. And after months of fry deprivation, they taste so much better. Side note, I will not share my fries. When I find gluten-free fries, they're all mine. <laughs> Perk number four. Oh, great. One option. Oh, great. One option. When you're gluten-free, your options at a restaurant can be very limited. Maybe there are five items marked as gluten-free on the menu. When you ask which ones are celiac safe, there might be two. Add another dietary restriction on top of that, you might be left with one option. Or sometimes zero and you have to ask the kitchen if they can throw something together for you. This could be seen as a tragedy. But if you're like me and have a lot of trouble making decisions or get decision fatigue, it's a blessing in disguise. While everyone else is fretting over the menu, I can get a head start on my wine. Perk number five. Cooking skill, level up. As we can see from my previous points, the majority of gluten-free bummers happen when you're eating away from home. Cooking and baking at home is just way less stressful than eating out, so when you're gluten-free, you're much more likely to take the time to work on those skills, especially to make those foods that you can no longer eat. While muggles, or non-gluten-free people, can just pick up fast food on the way home from work, you'll be rushing home to make your gluten-safe meal and leveling up your cooking skills. Plus, nothing beats a home-cooked meal or freshly baked bread, some nice shortbread cookies or cake. So I'd say that's a win. Perk number six. No wheat, no wheat, no wheat. B butylated hydroxy. No thanks, I'll pass. 
Having to read the ingredients label on every product can be annoying. Especially if there are people around, it can make you look strange or paranoid or pretentious. But the perk of this is that you're so much more aware of what you're putting into your body than the average person, or your past self even. When reading labels in the grocery store, if I start seeing a lot of not so healthy ingredients, it turns me off of buying it. Also, the ingredients label is dangerously close or helpfully close to the nutrition label, so unless I'm starving or just don't care, it helps me avoid making poor food choices. Disclaimer, I'm all about treating yourself, but as someone who has the tendency to want to treat myself at every meal, this is a good perk to keep me in check. And perk number seven. Oh man, my bread is moldy again. Yeah! We all know it. Gluten-free bread just doesn't last as long as regular bread, which is why usually you'll find it frozen in the grocery stores. In fact, I don't even know of any stores around me that carry non-frozen gluten-free bread. Heck, I even freeze my homemade gluten-free bread to help it stay fresh longer. While I miss having a fresh loaf of bread in the cupboard that doesn't require defrosting or toasting before I eat it, at least I never have to deal with moldy bread. Having celiac disease turns you into an eight-year-old forever. It's one of the side effects. So, just saying. There you have it, just a few of the unexpected perks of being gluten-free. If you can think of another perk that I left out, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. When I find gluten-free fries, they're all mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. No, stop. Stop right now. <laughs> no! You're like the McDonald's thing, the purple thing. Grimace? Grimace! <laughs> Okay. I just imagined us like put like you know the manatee suit and how I met your mother. I just imagined them putting like a grimace suit on me. Yes. 